Yo, so today we are taking a look at the episode 8 act 2 Valorant Battle Pass. Right here we got the Aquatica Shorty to start off as well as the Shell Spire Buddy. Then we got an additional 10 Radiantite points. The Aquatica card, which is really nice. I think that's a jellyfish. Next up, we got the Shell Spire Frenzy, which is again, very, very clean. And then we got the Hitless card. Nice little player card with Sova, Iso, Omen, and Cypher. Uh, the real title is pretty nice. Um, the no classic spray, which is kind of cool, I guess, but pretty anticlimactic overall with no animations. Then we got the Awkward Breach Spray, 10 Radiantite, the Retro Wave card, the Retro Wave Bucky, the Episode 8 Act 2 coin, uh, a Gecko player card, the Aquatica spray, which is just a little dolphin. And then we got 10 more Radiantite, the Aquatica Buddy, the Aquatica Stinger, 10 Radiantite, the Unserious title, and then we got the Shell Spire Spectre right here. Very clean, very clean. It's like a seashell or a sea theme that they're going for and then we got the shell spire card right here i don't know this is like a monster i guess or a whirlpool and then the shell spire spray this is pretty nice and then 10 more radiantite as well as the aquatica aries right here after that we got the double tap spray this is like an instagram noti it looks like and then we got the drink up spray this is sky it's pretty cute 10 radiantite the twisted treat buddy the snaky sneaky stack spray which is nice the retro wave operator right here as well as the spike sanded card after that we got 10 more radiantite the deadlock spray no comment spray pretty nice 10 more radiantite the sending love spray this is jet and neon's hands i believe and then this might actually be lore of some sort i could be wrong but then we got the valsicles card this is killjoy gecko brim <laughs> and they're like little popsicles the shell spire guardian very nice very nice the lotus buddy i actually like this one it's got a little glowing aura coming from it so pretty clean we got the night shift card right here 10 radiantite uh the sea jelly buddy which is again very nice very very nice the on my own spirit cypher on an island with this camera i mean it's basically cypher and valorant in game the aquatica oh we got an outlaw skin so this is the first outlaw skin in a battle pass it's actually not bad for a battle pass skin or an outlaw skin compared to the the paid outlaw skins this is not bad at all then we got 10 radiantite and the super shy title oh this is a pretty a pretty cool little spray killjoy and chamber he's detained in uh ascent a heaven so that's pretty nice and then we got the retro wave buddy right here ankle breaker card 10 radiantite the retro wave bulldog the uwu spray 10 radiantite Radiant skincare card, the Sentinel slide spray. Oh, it's Cypher doing the the moonwalk. <laughs> That's a really awesome spray. Very awesome. Then we got the deep breath spray. This is a pretty cool Killjoy one. <laughs> the Shell Spire Phantom. Not bad for a Phantom Battle Pass skin, in my opinion. Message in a bottle, buddy. Omen knitting. <laughs> That's pretty funny. As well as the Claw Tactics little tactic buddy and then we got the is this viper making a coffee <laughs> 10 radiantite the shell spire sword right here the retro wave sheriff and we got the underneath it all player card as well as the twisted treat buddy 30 more radiantite and the golden valsicles card all right guys so we're in game now we're going to take a look at the stinger skin default reticle Nice little blue and pink colorway. Default shooting sounds, of course. Overall, decent skin. The reload, again, it's gonna be default because it's a battle pass skin, but not too bad of a stinger skin in my opinion. And then we can check out the Bucky right here. I feel like this is kind of targeted to the girly pop section, but um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this Bucky skin or this uh, bundle. Decent for sure. And then we also got the operator right here. Um, not too bad. Decent scope. Of course, decent sound or default sounds and default animations because it is a battle pass skin. But yeah, overall, not too bad. I'm actually like a little pleased with this battle pass compared to the last one. 
Uh, we got the Outlaw skin right here. It's got a little dolphin on it. Decent colorways. Pretty vibrant. I do enjoy it. Um, but yeah, default animations here as well, obviously. Here's the reload. Not too bad overall. But let's see. What else do we got? We got the Spectre right here. This is supposed to be like a seashell of some sort. Um, not too bad for a Battle Pass skin in my opinion. But... I don't know, I don't really see the Spectre used much in-game anymore. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. We have the Ares right here. Actually, this is a decent Ares skin for, you know, considering it's a battle pass. But, I don't know, what do you guys think? I personally think I'm going to rock this. I don't really have that many good Ares skins. And I don't even think there's that many good ones in the game. So I'll probably use this one. Uh, we also got the Bulldog right here. Not too bad. I actually kind of like this, uh, this like bundle in the battle pass, the glittery one. It's pretty nice. I, like the entire, the entire battle pass bundle is very visually appealing. Like, we got the phantom right here. Not too bad. It's pink, but I don't know. I feel like they could have went like with a little bit more of a vibrant pink and it would have looked a lot better, but you know, still not bad. It's got a nice little cute little, uh, pink reticle though. So again, Decent skins. We also got the pink guardian right here, or the seashell guardian, whatever you want to call it. Not bad overall. I actually think this is one of the better battle passes, to be fair. And we also have the frenzy right here. That's the reload. And here's the inspect. And finally, we have the melee. So yeah, actually, I, I do think the melee is pretty cool. I do wish they had like a poking animation. Like I feel like this looks like a sword. So the right click should be a poking animation instead of like a slash. Um, if you guys know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's decent, decent melee skin overall. Like compared to the last hammer, I think this one is a big upgrade personally. Here is the other variant of the glittery bundle. We got the light blue version right here. This one is pretty clean as well. I actually do like the glitter effects. It literally reminds me. Of like my sister's toys when i was a kid um but yeah it's decent skins overall actually i think other than like the ruin battle pass this one might be up there in my opinion as like one of the better ones so this is the yellow and blue variant of the op the bucky and the bulldog again i do like the glitter effect pretty decent variants honestly in my opinion but you know I do wish these had, uh, like, animations of some sort. Like, these could be really hype. I feel like these could be actual skins in the game, in my opinion. Which is kind of what a lot of the Battle Pass skins have lacked uh, as of recently. But I don't know. You know, they are decent, but I don't know. It, it's hard to tell what a skin would look like if it had VFX and sound effects and things like that animations. So... I don't know. I think this one had potential for sure. Finally, we got the red and purple version of this skin line in the battle pass. I think this one might be my favorite. And I actually think this is what really th like makes the battle pass special here. I don't know. It could, it's just like subjective, but I don't know. These skin lines actually do appeal to me. Like, especially in the battle pass, it's very vibrant and overall just, you know, Decent battle pass skins, which we haven't seen in a while, to be completely honest. So, you know, it is, you know, going to appeal differently to other people. But I think Riot is doing a great job uh, as of recently with their skin lines and even the battle pass now that I'm seeing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Peace out.